Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Sandra and today I'm going to show you a video of me painting a wolf in watercolor. Here is the painting and uh, I hope some of the techniques that I use in this painting will help you along your way. So let's get going. Okay, I'm getting started on 300 pound rough watercolor paper from Arches and I have a drawing that I drew in ages and ages ago, I can't even remember doing it, that I found lately and I thought I would do for this video. Um, so I am going to be starting out with as few colors as possible. I've got Payne's gray bluish there and uh, let's see, I think that's raw sienna or raw umber, one of the two. I used both of them. Uh, they're Schminky brand, and I'm going to, later on in the video, I'm going to sort of discuss a little bit more why I sort of fell out of favor with this brand. Um, but suffice it to say right now that um, I just have to put on too many coats with it, and, and it's too tedious for me. I'm an impatient painter because it dries light. So I am painting wet into wet. I've got both sides of the paper wet, so it's going to stay wet quite a while because it's 300 pound paper. So I'm going to be basically be able to finish everything I want to do um, on wet, uh, and then I'm going to let it dry a day or two and then come back and do the details. So I am using a Princeton Neptune uh, there and uh, just a large brush. It doesn't have to be anything particular. One thing I have learned as I have matured more as a painter that I brushes don't it doesn't matter about the brushes really. Uh, I'm more and more using super cheap 12 for four dollar brushes from Michaels uh, and I will do that a little bit later on in this video um, because they work just fine. So I have a ton of brushes because everybody said you know you need good brushes. Well it's good to have a couple good brushes like this one is a very nice brush for doing this. It's got the point and it holds a ton of water as, and pigment of course and so I can put that color on quickly. So yeah, it's it's good, but it, your painting isn't really going to that that's not a make or break. You can you can use a chip brush from the hardware store if you want, and I do. So I'm basically just I've got my paper tilted here or I did now it's down. I have it flat here. But in the first part, I had it tilted. So now I am using my, I'm a, being a bad girl, and I am using my uh, silver black velvet flat to try to pull, not to try, to pull uh, paint off the light spots. And so I, I try not to use my better brushes for that kind of thing, for scrubbing. But uh, there, I, I slipped up and started doing it. Actually, the first brush I used, the one over laying to the uh, left of my board, is a makeup brush that I tried to use and see how that was going to work. It was just laying around forever. So I thought, I'm going to see how it works. Well, it might work really well for some things, but it doesn't work good for picking up paint. So basically I'm, what I'm doing here is just picking up all paint from all the light spots. It's going to have, in the light spots, there's going to be a tint of the correct color, the color I want in there. So it's basically a tinted paper under that. At some point here I will realize that I have got the wrong brush in my hand and I will change it. Okay, 
so now I, I'm the paper is still wet, and it looks like I have included uh, the other one. If I had raw umber before, I included the raw sienna now, and what else? It looks like I finally got some um, Daniel Smith color on my paper there, the German greenish raw umber. I like that color. And in a bit, I will be using some Daniel Smith Verditer Blue. And also just a touch of the Schmincke uh, Gamboge Modern for his eye, but basically that didn't even really happen. So um, basically wash it out. I didn't even need that color. So I guess I'll just sit here and uh, watch the video with you. I will chime in when I want to say something. In the meantime, um, I guess just listen to some music and, and watch me paint. Okay, in this section of the video, I sort of messed with this video clip a little bit because the um, my camera was overexposing this whole video. So I, I messed with that a little bit, and then I couldn't figure out how to undo it. So that's a technical error here. But basically, I'm still working in wet uh, or damp on damp paper here. It's not actually really wet. It's just slightly damp. So I'm not going to have any hard edges at this point. I'm going to have to let it dry in order to get those. Okay, so I've done some of the tedious touching up, getting the color up uh, to where I wanted it off camera. And now what I'm going to show is how I use watercolor pencils. And these are Derwent watercolor uh, made in England. Um, I actually have a different set that is a little newer but these were actually found in the desert somebody got them at, around new year's uh, somebody had gotten them for christmas apparently and uh went out tried to tried to paint or i mean color with them i got disgusted i assume i'm imagining this and left them and paper 
and pencils, regular pencils. And uh, they just left them by a rock out in the desert. Now that's decision making right there. So my husband went out for a little trip in the desert and lo and behold, there was a great gift for me. This is sepia. This one's burnt umber. So uh, I'm going to just uh, highlight. I'm just going to highlight, not highlight, darken color the areas that um, I'm just making some marks where the shadows are on the, on the wolf. And uh, now this is rough paper, so <clears throat> uh, you know it's it's uh, it's rough, and it's uh, it's not something that I would want to leave uh, the watercolor pencil on, so you could see that because it's it's very uh, it's very spotty if you can see that. So I'm just going over. The dark areas. I like a lot of contrast in my paintings and I think I'm getting really pretty close to being done with this one and uh, I don't I don't want to go much further on this area right here I want to leave it just really uh, suggestive but I want to get this area in his hair a little bit better a little bit more uh, contrast and um, I have the, for the light areas, the areas I, I want to be a little bit more white, I'm actually using, this is a sky blue color. And it's kind of nice to have that extra. Um, actually up here, I picked it up and I, and I picked up the wrong one and it was a, a violet, light violet. And I thought, Ooh, I kind of like that up there. So I'll leave that. And uh, so I'm just making some lighter areas here. And um, gee, I'm getting really close. Now for this, for his eye, at the very end, I'm going to use a little white gouache because I want that light spot in there and I don't think well actually that might do it well we'll see um, okay so I'm just going to take my brush and get a rag here so that I can wipe it off and I'm just going to wet it now what happens with this is there's a lot of pigment in these pencils so I end up having to pick it up a little bit and it is so much different than these watercolors, these watercolors that I do not like. I will never buy them again. And if I say what I, their name, somebody's going to yell at me. Schminka, schminky, schmink. I don't care. I don't like them. So I don't care how I say their, the name. I can say schmuck if I want. And that's perfectly good with me because I think they are schmucks. They do not, they just are so pale and so wimpy. I just can't say enough bad things about them. Okay, this is a little bit too brown here. So I'm going to just dab that off. And I'm going to try and find my gray, 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 gray. Where's my gray? That's not it. Which one is it? it? Must be this one. So I can either use these completely dry, or I can I can just dip them into the water like I'm dipping a brush. But if you do that too much, you'll actually soften up the the lead in here, and it'll just flop over. And so you have to be careful with how much you do that. I think I need a little bit of light 
over his eye to make that eye really stand out. There, see that, that helped. Oops, dang it. These pencils aren't good for getting into small spaces. Okay, so I need a little bit of light right over this eye. And then a little bit more water. And I'm just, I'm, I'm getting detail in the eye area because that's where I want uh, my focus, the focus of the painting to be. Of course, I always do that. Yeah, I like this. This is working out pretty well. Oops, that would, that didn't work. The thing about this uh, 300 pound paper is you can do, you can just do all kinds of stuff to it and uh, rub it and scrub it and it just sits there and takes it. That's pretty good. Okay. See, when you give a big bead of water on that pencil, you gotta be real careful. All right. So I think that's about wrapping up this video. I really appreciate you watching till the very end. If you're watching this, thank you very much. And uh, I'm going to be posting more videos. I finally have a setup. Maybe at some point I'll actually show you my, my new studio. We moved into a new place. I have a new studio. And I have, uh, we just last week got a, a set up for me to um, video easier because that has been a bugger of a problem. A bugger of a problem. Let me see. Oh, I took my pencil in the other room. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it with this color. What is that color? A copper beach. Nope, I did not use that color, so I am not using that. Sepia. Oh. This rough paper. Oh, you know what? Now that I signed it, I always do that. As soon as I sign it, then I go, oh, geez, I forgot to do that. And, yep, I forgot to do that. And now I have to sharpen this pencil. Okay, and what I forgot to do is I've, I've got him. He's looking a little bit f floaty here. Like he's floating a bit. So I'm going to take that and then some of this indigo, which is very hard. I think I need to give it just a little bit of a sharpen to get that hard crust off from it. There it is. All right, now I'm going to take my brush and tip my paper. And let the color run down away from the wolf. Uh, do you think I need a little bit more? There I do.
Why not? Just rub, run that over my signature. <laughs> oh, well, it didn't actually go away. I thought it was going to. That's how it's going to be, folks. Okay. There it is. Thank you for watching. And please hit the like button. It really helps out my channel. Please leave a comment if you would like to say something. And farewell.